So in this video, I'm going to be installing Arch Linux, and this is the latest version. So the kernel version is 6.10.2. The size of the ISO is 1.1 gigs. So these are the mirrors that you can download from. So I already downloaded the ISO file and I created a bootable USB drive with Etcher. So I'll select the USB drive to boot up from. I'll select the first option. So at the command prompt, I'll type arch install. So the language, I'm gonna leave it as English. This is mirrors, you can choose your mirrors here. This is mirror regions. And you can choose any one of these. I'll select US. I'll select back. It's on the locales. You can set your keyboard layout here. I'm going to leave it as default. This is the disk configuration. So this is the partitioning settings. So here you have some options. You can manual partition. You can use the default partitioning layout. I'm going to select the default partitioning layout. I'll select the hard drive that's in the computer, which is one terabyte in size. So these are the file systems. I'll select DTRFS. I'll leave this as default. So it says here, would you like to use compression or disable copy on write? And I have the option to skip this. I'm going to select use compression. I'll select back. This is disk encryption. I'm not going to encrypt the disk. This is bootloader. I'm going to leave it as default to grub. This is swap. I'm going to leave it as true. So on the host name, I'm going to leave it as default. This is the root password. I'm going to type a root password. I'll create a user account. I'll add a user. I'll type a password for the user. So it says here, should John be a super user? I'm going to select yes. I'll confirm and exit. I'll select profile. Select type. Select desktop. So these are the desktop environments to choose. I'm going to select KDE Plasma. I'll select graphics driver. So here you can choose any one of these. Depends on what kind of graphic cards you have in your computer. I'm going to leave it on the first option, all open source. This is the greeter. I'll leave it as default. I'll select audio. So here you have to choose an audio server. I'll select pipe wire. I'll click on kernels. So here you have to choose which kernels to use. So the default is Linux. I'm going to uncheck Linux and I'm going to choose Linux LTS. I'll select additional packages. So here I can type extra packages I would like to install. So for example, Firefox space, I'll type VLC. I'll type Vim. I'll type a file manager, PCMan FM. I'll also type Emacs. Okay, so this is network configuration. I'm going to select use network manager. This is time zone. So I'm in US time zone. So I'll choose US Eastern. This is automatic time sync. I'm going to leave it as true. This is optional repositories. I'm going to select multi-lib. I'm not going to save the configuration. I'm going to select install. So it says, would you like to cheroot into the newly created installation? I'm going to say yes. So here I can install a package. So I'm going to install each top. So I'll type sudo pacman dash uppercase s each top. Type y for yes. So it's installed. I'll type exit. So I'll reboot the computer. So I'll type reboot. So this is the login page. I'm going to log in. So as you can see, Vim is installed. Emacs is installed. Firefox is installed. VLC Media is installed. 
So each top is installed. So the KDE Plasma version is 6.1.3. The kernel version is 6.6.42 LTS. And the graphics platform is Wayland. So to see a list of packages that is installed in Arch Linux, I just have to type this command, pacman dash uppercase Q. And these are a list of all the packages that I installed. So I'll open the application launcher. And this is favorites. This is all applications. This is development. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is settings. This is system. This is utilities. So I'll right click the desktop. I'll open desktop on wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers. I'll choose this wallpaper, safe landing. I'll open system settings. I'll choose the breeze daft theme. I'll click apply. So under networking, I'll click on online accounts, add new account. So this is open desktop. And you can register for a new account here. This is remote desktop. And here you can add a new user. Sonda appearance and style, I'll click on Windows management. I'll select virtual desktops. So there's only one virtual desktop. I'm going to add five more. I'll click apply and it shows up on the panel. I'll click on desktop effects and I'll scroll down all the way to windows management. I'll select cube and this will enable the cube feature. I'll click apply. So to activate the cube feature, I'm going to hold the Windows key and the C key on the keyboard. So to escape out of this, just hit the escape key on the keyboard. So I'll open system monitor. So I'm going to update Arch Linux. I'm going to type this command. So in this video, I installed Arch Linux in a desktop computer, and this is the current release. So I want to thank you for watching, and I thank you for subscribing.